Dollar store Montessori, could it be possible? Why, yes it can. And today we're gonna focus on practical life items that you can find at the dollar store. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. We are talking Montessori, which is one of my favorite things. You guys already know that I just love Montessori. And so I know that it costs a lot to do Montessori if you're gonna buy the materials, but can you find some things at the dollar store? If you recall, a long time ago, we did a video on dollar store Montessori items, so you can go back and watch that for even more ideas, but today, we're gonna focus on just the practical life activities. If you're new here, click subscribe to see videos about educational activities for kids and ideas and inspirations to learn through play, and if you're new, definitely say hi after you subscribe because I would love to know that you are here. So let's head over to the dollar store because I got a lot to show you. Montessori practical life activities include things that you would do in your everyday normal life. One of them is flower arranging. Usually in Montessori, you're going to see items such as glass containers or small bowls, ceramic bowls, things that are really pretty to use. If you don't feel comfortable using glass vases like the ones here, then you might want to try finding some that are plastic. I found a lot of options at the Dollar Tree. There were some bud vases, some bigger vases, some that had some colors and some that were clear. Lots of good options. And all for a dollar so you can, can't go wrong but I did find some plastic ones that looked like glass such as these right here and they even came in colors too if you prefer those so flower arranging is a Montessori activity and you can use these materials to do that usually you would use real flowers however at the Dollar Tree you're only gonna find artificial flowers so they usually have a huge selection especially around springtime and every time the season changes so here are some flowers that you can put inside your vases I would go ahead and cut these for your children so they can arrange them however they wish and then they can set their decorated flower vase on a table. Sweeping up and cleaning up is also a very popular Montessori activity. I found these dust pans, which are adult size, so they are an option. However, the brooms might be a little bit too big. You definitely want your Montessori materials to be child size so they can handle it and use it properly. I would, however, suggest these little dust pans and little brooms. These are perfect for smaller hands. They do have to bend over to use it, but it will get the job done. My kids like using these a lot, and I have two sets so they can clean up off the the floor and sweep up whenever they need to. Also, mopping is an activity that is done in Montessori Kids, once again, with a kid size mop. However, you wanna make sure your Montessori activities reflect what you would do in your house. So if you don't mop, then you probably don't want to use a mop. These mops are a little bit too big for the little ones, so you probably have to find these elsewhere if you'd like to include that in your activities. Along with sweeping up is wiping up. So I like these little spray bottles that you can put some materials in for them to clean, some solution, something probably a little bit safe for them to use. And then they also had a really good selection of microfiber cloths. I use these cleaning cloths in my home, but they are perfect size for little hands too. They had several different options. They had smaller ones here. This is also good for wiping up transfer activities, doing some water play. Maybe you are learning how to pour some orange juice. These are great for cleaning up tables. You can also go over to the kitchen section where they have a whole bunch of washcloths and dish towels. These are also great options and they come in a variety of different colors. Lots to choose from. This one has a little scrubber on the inside so if you need something to be scrubbed a little bit more that could be an option as well. These came in all sorts of different colors. You can also get different sizes in these too. Now we're heading over to the kitchen stuff where they have the dusters. So dusting is a popular activity in our house. This one is my favorite. The little duster part comes right off the handle and you can throw this in the washing machine and reuse it over and over again. And for a dollar, it's quite a steal and your kids can dust the whole entire house from top to bottom if they wish. Also in the kitchen section are the sponges. Cleaning dishes and cleaning their own dishes is a Montessori activity that they often do in the classroom. So after lunch, they will take their dishes and do their own washing. So you can get a couple of sponges here, all kinds of different colors and shapes. And then once you selected some sponges, I highly recommend checking out a wash bin that you can place at a lower level for kids. I found these in the kitchen section. They are used to hold dish water for washing dishes. They not only have the bins, you can also use these for sensory bins, by the way, but they have the drying racks too, so don't forget that so your child can either put the dishes here to dry or to dry them themselves with some of the dish towels. They even have a little rack that goes underneath the dish dryer, don't forget that, and you can let this be on your sink and put all the water to flow down. Each one of these items is a dollar. If you want better quality, you can also find these at any kitchen store like a Target. 
They even had small soap bottles, which are perfect for smaller hands to squeeze out. It might be an option. I like these Dawn bottles myself because they are small enough to hold in a little hand. Folding laundry or doing kinds of matching activities is also a popular Montessori activity. I've showed you this before. Dollar Tree has tons of socks that you can buy with different colors and patterns so you can do a Montessori matching game. But you know what? You probably have enough socks in your house already that you don't need to purchase them. So look around and see what you have and you can create your own sock activity for free. Another thing that they can do is folding washcloths or folding napkins. In the bathroom section they have a ton of small washcloths that are perfect for learning how to fold. And once again, you probably already have these items in your house, but if you need some new ones just for Montessori practice, you can look over here. And then of course in the kitchen section, they also had that huge selection that I showed you earlier in this video. Same thing, you can use these for folding activities too, as well as cloth napkins. It's a perfect activity for folding. Now we're in the kitchen supply section. I'm looking for food prep items and I had a very difficult time finding things. Most of the things were not safe for child use and I have seen a whole bunch of child safe cutting utensils on Amazon. So you might wanna go take a look there if you really wanted to get some food prep activities in. But I did find a couple of things that could pass. I would definitely look into the kitchen section for something like this. It is a grater. You can grate some carrots. You can peel some other vegetables. It's nice handle on it. And stays away from the blade. They also have this little Betty Crocker hand grater, which all the things that you grate go right inside the container. I thought this one was really cute. And then you can also do some juice squeezing with some oranges or with some lemons. This little container is a perfect size. I like that it's small and can be used really easily for individual citrus fruits. And also, if you want some help washing vegetables, this little brush is really good for that. It's a veggie brush. You can wash some potatoes in the sink and get your vegetables really clean with this. These little activities take some practice, and that's why you're there to teach them how to use it. So make sure that you teach them how to use these utensils to do some food prep with you. Another Montessori activity includes sewing. Now, I didn't find any sewing supplies here at the Dollar Tree, but I did find some weaving supplies. This holds up some dishes in a pantry, but it's the perfect size for weaving in and out and back and forth. I really think this is clever. It stands nice and tall on a table. It also has little feet on the bottom that cover so you don't get poked. So I really do like this. And then you can head over to the craft section to look for some ribbon to go with this. So you can weave ribbon in and out. Dollar Tree always has a selection of ribbon in the craft section. Sometimes they even have seasonal ribbons, the themes such as Valentine's Day, Christmas, those sort of things. But they have a really great selection. If you just look under, you can find all kinds of different patterns, and this can be really pretty to weave in and out on a dish rack of all things. Also in the hardware section, you will see a lot of fine motor activities for Montessori, including locks, opening and closing locks, screwing and unscrewing bolts and screws into a wooden board, nailing nails, but I did find a couple of locks if you want to try that out. And then polishing is another activity that's Montessori based. Uh, you can polish shoes, polish silverware, but I just wanted to show you some options that they have if you were interested. Now I talk about transferring all the time on my channel. These are great Montessori activities and they're usually done at the very early ages. It's either transferring one item from one container to another, either liquid or solid. So I'm gonna show you a couple of containers that I found, like these plastic shot glasses that are great for transferring things. I also looked over in the in the kitchen section and found these. I use these all the time when we did transfer activities. I like that they come three to a pack in red or white. These are perfect size for transferring beans, transferring beads, all that kind of thing. And then I want to show you some scooping and transfer items. I usually use a spoon, but they had something like this that had kind of a deeper bowl to it. So if you're scooping some things, you can scoop with this. You can also use measuring cups or small tablespoons like this for scooping and transferring transferring activities. And then don't forget to head over to the party section where they have these really pretty plastic bowls. They look just like glass, so they have a nice pretty look to them. And they come in different sizes and different shapes and there's a lot in a package. Just be careful because these can break if
if you drop them or you roughhouse with them too much. I even like these right back here. They're really finger bowls. They're a lot smaller. This would be great for a transfer activity too. Also transferring water or even pouring is another is another Montessori activity that requires some patience and practice. So learning how to pour water from one item to another. Maybe they're pouring their own juice for a meal. This is a pitcher that you can fill up with water and do some pouring activities. It has a nice little spout on it. It is a little bit large, so you might want to keep that in mind and look for a smaller one if you can find it. Also using things like tongs. Here are some plastic tongs in the party section. I much prefer the metal ones, but if this is all you can do, it is an option. They might be a little bit too big for your child, so just check them with your, with your kids' hands. If you have any ideas for Dollar Store Montessori, let me know what you've come up with. You guys always do have the best ideas. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.